Hey guys, I'm here to talk about this fully automated component switch that was just available in the US market. And the best thing about this device is this extremely affordable compared to the other solutions you got out there. This review or this video is not a sponsor at any means. I paid full price for this device and I'm doing this video just because I think that's an awesome thing to share. Talking about company switches, you know, most people in the retro gaming scene use RGB, but you have a bunch of consoles that works much better using component. I converted all my consoles to component. I use like a, a HD retrovision cables and, uh, you know, component whenever I can because I think it's a better format. Not better in terms of quality, you know the RGB uh, in terms of quality is slightly better, even though you cannot see the difference with your eyes. The, the reason I like Company is because it's really easy. You can find the affordable cables out there, but even though if you're a guy that works with just SCART devices, um, you know, there is a couple devices out there that works better in Component. For example, the Xbox Classic, a GameCube, some of them do not support RGB, and there's no even mods out there. The component switches, the good ones, are very expensive, uh, especially fully automated. Uh, I just know about one, that's the G-Comp switch. It's currently being sold at the Castlevania Games, and it costs about $300. It got A inputs and two outputs. I got one here, and, uh, and, and it's great, it works fine. But the biggest problem for me is the price. I think paying like $300 for a device like that is totally overpriced, at least for me, right? Even though they say, oh, okay, it's worth it. I think that's still a lot of money for just a switch, right? It's just a component switch. And maybe you, you never heard about GameScare, but they are a company based in Brazil and they are now selling in the US. That's not like a Chinese vendor that sells cheap hardware, right? GameScare, the owner, it's a guy that's in a retro gaming scene for years. Maybe you haven't heard about because they are based in Brazil and, you know, usually the videos and YouTubers, they usually talk about more things that, you know, are sold in U.S. In US and Europe. But they are now coming to U.S. and they have awesome products. I know them because I'm Brazilian and I, you know, I usually know what's happening on Brazilian retro gaming scene. And this guy made in the past, I think it's been a few years now, um, SCART switch, a fully automated SCART switch, and it works great. So that's why I'm pretty sure this device is great because they have expertise to do this kind of devices, right? Uh, a couple months ago, John Hancock revealed their MVS consoleized console, and I will put the video here in the cards and you can check the video because I know he's like a larger YouTuber trusted by the community. I don't think they will release a device that will a crappy device and, and with problems, right? That's why I said I trust them and I'll demonstrate in this video. At the first look here, as you can see, it's not like a traditional uh, component device and it's very small form factor. They have this, you know, green connectors. I think that's like a similar to a headphone P2 connection. We have a, actually two connectors, a black and a green. Hey guys, just a quick note here. I was connecting the video connector to the green port, but actually it's not the green, that's the black. That's the video connector. And the green is the audio connector. So in fact, uh, it's a little bit weird. So you connect the, the black connector to the green port and the green connector to the black port. So I spoke with Gamescare, they said this temporarily because it's really hard to find the components but eventually the colors will match on feature releases, uh, you know, with the connectors, etc. But because of the current situation in the world, lack of, you know, electronic components, uh, they just found the green connectors, but eventually the colors will match. But for now, this is like that. It's not a big deal, definitely is not, but just to making sure you connect it right, and that's it. So my component cable goes here, on this side, right? I will connect the audio here in the video here, right? So that's, I got an input. So I, if I want another input, I go here, connect to here, and I connect the audio here. So I'm gonna tell you why I think that's a great idea. I think about this is a automated, fully automated device, right? With two outputs and six inputs. This kind of device that's fully automated, you're not gonna let this over your desk. You're probably gonna hide this be behind your consoles or, you know, and close to, to something. 
And because it's fully automated, you don't need to press buttons. And I have this problem because I put this, I put my component switch behind, you know, all my devices. And because component is like a form factor, different than SCART, right? SCART to just connect and that's it. So component is different. You need to find the colors. And sometimes, you know, it's stretching my arm, you know, behind my rack and trying to figure out the colors. Sometimes I uh, just looking, I can't tell if it's green, if it's blue. Uh, sometimes I misconnected that. With this kind of device, it's making much easier to hide this thing because, you know, you can just pre-connect all your cables here, for example. And what you have to do is just stretch your arm behind the rack and connect this cable. And that's it. That doesn't disconnect easily, as you can see here. You see? Right? I think that's a great idea if you want to hide this thing because the problem with component for me is like a, it's a bit complicated the way we handle all these cables and that's an advantage of this card connection. But that solved this problem. That actually great. I, I like this idea. They send right all these connectors. You don't need to worry about buying them. They send everything that you need to feed all the ports. So as you can see here, they send everything. So you don't need to buy this separately. Uh, there's no catch. They also send the power supply. So they send everything you need to start using it, right? If you just need six ports, that's great. So when I turn on, so as you can see, I got a green power light here, blue LED on this side. So I'm gonna connect the two consoles here and one output and let's see how that works. All right, guys, let's test here the auto switching function. As you can see here, I'm running a Sega Saturn. I'm not sure if it's too dark because that's a OLED screen and tends to be darker. But that's, uh, that's something on my TV. But as you can see here, the picture quality is great. Like I can perfectly see the car. I can I don't see any, you know, noise, jail bars, things like that. That's great. The switch. So let me show you the setup here, right? So as you can see here, it's the input tree where my Sega Saturn is connected. My GameCube is connected here. So it's a little bit messy because I just put this here for testing purposes. I connected this to my HetroThink 5X scaler here. And now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna turn off my Sega Saturn and I'm gonna turn on my um, GameCube and let's see how it's gonna work. Oh, we just switch it to the port one here. And that's uh, what I expected to see. That's the Swiss, right? So let's start the game here. Wow, that's that's really good. Really nice. The switch works great. That's exactly what I expected to see. I turned on my Sega Saturn at the same time, it didn't switch automatically. What I think is the expected behavior, right? So I turn off the Sega Saturn and I'm now gonna turn off the GameCube and I turn on the Sega Saturn again. So as you can see, it switched, right? So um, if you turn on another console by accident, it's not gonna switch automatically, right? I think that's good. I don't want to, you know, it's switching back and forth all the time. So guys, looks like everything here works as expected. So I hook up this thing to my uh, Sega Saturn, to my GameCube, also a PS2. So it looks like it works like a champ. So it works perfectly, exactly as expected. So it gives me a, a little bit more ports that are exactly what I need because the G-Comp switch does have a port. So we don't have too many options of component switches with more ports than that. That fixes my problem and six inputs, two outputs. So that's definitely great for the price range. Obviously, the G-Comp switch, there's, uh, they got two more ports, but two more ports worth like 200 extra dollars? Honestly, I don't think so. I would stay with the GameScare component switch for now. I really like this uh, connector thing here. This scheme is very, you know, very nice. It's very small form factor. Keeps things nice and clean, easy to connect to back to your consoles here. Well, as you can see, I have a kind of tie space here. Uh, I need to stretch my arm and when I need to reconnect to those things, it's always a nightmare. That's gonna make my life easier. So I will leave the link in the description so you can buy directly at their website. 
and contact them directly, okay? So, let's take a look on the capture card. Three, two, one, go! Easy right! Easy work! Easy right! Over jump! Easy right! Long medium right! Check point! Well, over jump. Easy left. Easy left. Easy right. Very long, easy right, baby. Start a new game or load an old one. Which will it be? Hey, it's me, Goku. So which are you going to play? You'll get stronger as you... So what's your opinion about this small device here? I really like it and I definitely recommend that. I didn't finish all the tests, but definitely it's a great addition for the retro gaming community. We, I think we need something like that, more affordable. Not everyone can pay like $300 for the G-Comp Switch and definitely that's a perfect replacement. Besides that, this is shipped from the US. You're not getting like international shipping for China. This is a Brazilian project, but this is sold in the US. They open a US store. As I said, I don't have any affiliation to the store, but I wanted to make this video just to let people know there is another good options out there. Definitely recommend check it out. If you like the video, leave a like. I'll leave the link in the description. That's it. See you next time.